My name is Al Turgeon. I chair the Emergency Management Planning Working Group, which was tasked to prepare a university pandemic response plan. What we're really doing is trying to fashion a new business model for the institution for a short period of time during a, a major emergency. That requires people to think about academic continuity, research continuity, administrative continuity. It's a very complex set of interrelated issues that need to be thought through. A pandemic is a global event in which there is a significant spread of the virus from human to human on a scale that can overwhelm the public medical institution's ability to respond to that. When that happens in two separate geographic regions of the world, you have a classic pandemic. Pandemics have been around since 400 BC. They typically occur about every 40 years. In this most recent century, we had one in 1918 and 19. That was by far the most severe of all of the pandemics we've had to date. That killed, by some people's estimates, anywhere between 40 and 100 million people. In the United States, uh, that was a little over half a million. A typical pandemic has three waves. A pandemic wave would last anywhere from six to eight weeks. It would then have an interval of anywhere from one month to a year. Then we'd have another six to eight week wave, followed by another interval of one month to a year and then a third wave of six to eight weeks. Our planning problem has to look at two things. We have to look at a worst case scenario and we have to look at the most likely. And so we have to plan for both of those. It ought to help alleviate people's fear that we don't have a way to respond to this. We in fact do. We have choices to make about how we respond to this. And so we're, we're doing the prudent things that the institution should do to get ready for this if it happens.